Your respiratory system includes the passages in your nose, mouth, and throat that carry air in and out of your lungs, the large air passages inside your lungs called bronchi, smaller air passages deeper in your lungs called bronchioles, and tiny grape-like clusters of air sacs in the deepest part of your lungs called alveoli. Your bronchioles are surrounded by tiny bands of muscle that squeeze and relax as you breathe in and out. These muscles help you move air in and out of your lungs. Every time you take a breath, oxygen travels to your alveoli where it crosses over a very thin wall and makes its way into your bloodstream. About the same time, carbon dioxide passes from your bloodstream into your alveoli where it can be carried away and exhaled. Other muscles are involved in breathing as well, such as your diaphragm and muscles in your abdomen, chest, and neck. These all help your lungs expand and contract, causing air to flow in and out. Your respiratory system is not only made of muscles and air passages, but also layers of tissue that line the inside of those passageways. That tissue contains mucus glands and other cells that play a role in fighting off infections. When you have asthma, you will always have some inflammation or swelling inside your airways. Much of the time, you may not even be aware of the inflammation. When this swelling goes untreated, your airways become narrowed, allowing less air to pass in and out of your lungs. As the muscles involved in breathing continue to tighten and relax, some air can become trapped in the alveoli. This trapped air causes these grape-like structures to get larger, 